All right, what is up everyone? OJ here from Player Essence. Welcome to a special, I guess, right? This would be a special. Right, let me do some live stream maker real quick. We got to reset this stream boss. Avedon is not here right now. <laughs> All right, what's up everyone? OJ here. Welcome to another PE Live. Today we got a special for you guys on Sundays. I never live stream on Sundays. I don't remember the last time that I've ever live streamed on a Sunday. But you know what? I woke up early in the morning for some reason, even though I went to sleep kind of late. Um, I woke up early this morning, had some breakfast, uh, didn't feel like going to the gym cause I already kind of went to the gym like four or five days out of this week. So I was kind of like, eh, probably not going to go to the gym this morning. Um, so I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and let me do a little bit of a stream. Um, there was some information that came down from, uh, TGS or Tokyo game show, which is pretty much over at this point. Um, there was some new information on Dragon Quest. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do a video on this, nobody's going to watch it on Sundays anyway. So I might as well just live stream it. You guys can have some interaction. I can talk to you guys, you know, for a bit. And then I can just make a normal PE news video on the same information anyway. or And then add in whatever new is in the morning tomorrow. So I just figured that I would do that. But anyway, um, what's up to everybody here? Uh, the music was um, Ace Attorney. Uh, uh, Objection 2001 That was the first track that played And the second track that played was Theme of Simon from Super Castlevania 4 So if you're interested in the music But anyway, that was that uh, Let me see, we got over 100 people in here already Wow, I wasn't expecting that So let me go ahead and give my shoutouts to everybody here If you are watching and you want me to give you a shout out, Just simply uh, type a comment I'll be more than happy to say what's up to you guys um, So what's up to MO Thank Meme Center Ataki, my boy Elite Ninja Ataki Dumb Guy Gaming, what's up, Dumb Guy Gaming? Sean Diamond, Elite Ninja Sean Diamond, how you doing? Um, wound Up Penguin, hey, good to see you back. It's been a while since I've seen you in one of my streams. Uh, loving the Sunday show. Yeah, it's the first one I've done in a while. Um, unless it's something special like a Nintendo Direct or some type of thing that was going down on Sunday. I, I don't really do normal live streams on Sunday. I usually just relax and watch football. But, you know, like I said, I woke up early today, wound up Penguin, and um, I just decided to stream real quick for today, for today's content, instead of just making a video. So I usually have a video for you guys. I was like, you know, whatever, I'll just stream instead. Uh, you guys can just watch the, whoever wants to watch my content can watch it on the replay. Um, yo, shout outs, dumb guy. Thank you. Uh, Darth, Darth Wesker, what's good? Jeremy? What's up, man? Uh, Brennan, how's it going? Leak is it uh, Leaky, Leaky Curry? What's up? TG Lopez, what's good, man? Zeme Duvant, what's up? Man, I got something in my eye. Man, this stuff that I always put on—it's so funny because whenever I'm on other on other podcasts, everyone's always like, "Man, OJ's skin is shiny," but you guys have to remember. Oh my God, I got I got, I got something. Um, you guys have to remember that, like due to my vitamin d deficiency because of my skin and because i'm inside my house all day and i don't go outside much i have to put on these creams that get me enough vitamin d and keep my skin normal uh because you're supposed to go out into the sun at least a little bit and get vitamin d but that does not happen for me <laughs> that does not happen for me so I, I have to wear these uh creams um on my face and stuff uh but anyway um it's a little annoying but sometimes it just kind of like gets into the side of my side right here and um yeah anyway uh let's see here you stream too late for me uh my time oh yeah that's true you're, you're in the uk i forgot about that at least you watch the replays maybe right um what's good to oh my gosh okay guys i'll be right back i gotta go get just like a uh, just like a tower and nap here real quick i'll be right back give me a second chair essence for just a bit guys give me just a second Okay, we back, we back, boys and girls. Um, the almighty chair before football. Yeah, I wanted to stream a little bit before football. Also, you know what I'm saying? Like, I needed to pray a little bit this morning, man. Got up, said a little prayer, said a little prayer on Sunday because my 49ers are playing the Chiefs. And, um, <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, that quarterback, the Chiefs, Scott, he's pretty good. Uh, he's pretty good. He's, he's broke an NFL record. He has the most touchdown passes ever in the first two uh, games of the season. The dude threw, he's thrown like 10 touchdowns already. So the Chiefs are cooking right now. And my 49ers are playing at Kansas City today. So your boy got up and said a little prayer. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll see. 
we'll see what happens, man. We will see what happens. Um, but anyway, we'll. <laughs> oh man, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to today watching the game. I'm not. I'm really not. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see here. Suzumi, what's good? How's it going? Ethan R. Shout out to Elite Ninja Ethan R. Good to see you here. Um, Grubby K9. Shout outs to Grub Grubby K9. Uh, can you hit me up on Twitter again so we can get the whole Blaze Blue thing situated? Hit me up on Twitter. Thank thank you for get, reminding me on the Spawncast last night. Hopefully you enjoyed the es uh, the episode. And shout outs to Grubby K9. Thank you for um, four months. Hey, Grubby K9, you got two more months to get the new badge, man. So shout outs, dude. Um, let's see here. Where, where do you got? Okay, Sean Diamond, you got one more month before you get your new badge. Um, let's see here. Um, rooting for Bo Jackson. Yeah, man. Bo Jackson. Um, shout outs to Alonzo Vines. What's good? Gumbo. Gumbo. Okay. What's good? All right. Okay. Hold up here. We got it. We got the first donation of the stream. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Is that the Viking Nation? Shout outs to Jonas Erickson with the $2 donation. Thank you for using Stream Labs. Appreciate that. It says, my wife is from China, so we're preparing for the Autumn Festival tomorrow. Here is $2 so you can buy yourself a tasty mooncake. <laughs> I don't even know if I eat mooncakes, but yeah, that will go into the pizza fund. Let's go. That's to the pizza fund. Let's go, baby. Thank you. I appreciate that. And shout outs, man. Wife is from China, man. Awesome. That's really cool, dude. It's really awesome, man. Um, <laughs> I'm not married, you know, uh, maybe one of these days I will be, I'm just not really sure, not really sure what's going to be going down, <laughs> maybe one of these days, I I'll, 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 I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do, I have no idea, uh, but anyway, shout outs, man, thank you, congrats uh, to your, uh, you and your wife, man, I know you're, you're awesome, dude, Jonas, I do appreciate the uh, $2 donation, and that will go to the pizza fund, no mooncakes for me, pizza fund all the way, baby, um, let's see here, Dragon Chi 26 how's it going? How's it going, guys? Tether Gaming, how's it going? Yeah, Patrick Holmes, he's a, he's a gunslinger, man. He's a gunslinger. I'm, I'm, I'm worried, and I was worried about that dude. You know, I knew he was going to be good because Andy Reid's always good with, uh, with, uh, with strong guard and quarterbacks. You can take those quarterbacks and make them be a lot better than they actually are, and Andy Reid has been known to maximize quarterback talent. Michael Vick, I mean, like, look at how Michael Vick played, like, when he went to Andy Reid with the Eagles. You know, like, Donovan McNabb. I mean, Andy, Alex Smith, he made Alex Smith. So, I mean, Andy Reid knows how to work with quarterbacks. So, Patrick Mahomes was in the perfect situation. Sat out a year by an Alex Smith, came in and just started killing things. Because I don't think Patrick Mahomes is even that good. I think that Andy Reid is that good. And Patrick Mahomes has a really strong arm. So, it's all working. And then you got weapons all around you. So, I think that's what's going on right now. So, that, that's, that's good stuff for uh, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, so, shout outs to him for getting into a good situation. Um, let's see here. Um... Uh, Jaquan Evans, how's it going? Uh, let's see here. Uh, um, Rhythm, how's it going? Um, yeah, you know what, D Douglas Eaton, I cannot have, um, I can't, I, I'm, I don't eat all that stuff with my pizza. All I have is pepperoni and no cheese. Pepperoni and no, I rip off all the cheese from my pizza. I'm going to have a pizza Sunday. I'm going to have a pizza right after I'm done streaming though. I'm going to watch the football game and have a pizza because that's the only thing that's going to make me feel good after <laughs> hopefully hopefully they can win um let's see here uh suzumi uh please uh no spoilers with torna guys i understand that you guys want to discuss the game and everything uh but just be careful with like what you say uh just because the game just came out so we're still kind of sensitive to that um with stuff like that so just be careful that kind of talk kind of leads to more more uh spoilers for some people that maybe didn't get it they're waiting on their physical version to get shipped in or whatever the case is so just not too much on the on the torna stuff guys please Thank you. Um, so yeah, guys, just 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 chillax on that, or you guys can DM each other. Just like I said, I don't I don't want there to be any um, spoilers for people who are looking looking forward to things. Um, let's see here, uh, Mo. What's good, man? How's it going? Nick War Little. What's good, Elite Ninja? Nick War Little. How you doing, man? Uh, pizza without cheese. Yeah, pizza without cheese, man. Uh, pizza without cheese. <laughs> uh, pizza without cheese. Um, Shadow King, nineteen eighty two. What's good, man? Uh, Shadow is it Leaky Curry? Finally, <laughs> I can donate something. Cheers from Poland. Thank you, thank you to uh, Leaky. I, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. His name correctly. Thank you, Leaky Curry. Appreciate that. Says finally. I'll read it a message again. 
I can donate something. <laughs> Cheers from Poland. Yeah, man, I've been trying to get like the weekends. I'm pretty sure that like I've I've cut back on my schedule enough, guys. Um, I think PLN. I guess that's the Polish dollars or Poland dollars. I'm not exactly sure what the currency is, but either or how it translates. But thank you so much. I I don't care if it's a dollar, just one dollar. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to really make sure the weekends that I stream earlier for my international users because we've been actually growing quite a lit, uh, quite a lit, quite quite a bit uh, when it comes to international, especially like in Sweden and stuff. And I already know I kind of had a little bit of a UK base, uh, but yeah, we're definitely going more in Europe. So um, weekends are going to be like where I kind of make sure that I try to stream early when I can. When I have the energy to do it, I'll do it. But with my new schedule, how I'm streaming and how I'm doing stuff. I think I'm I'm pretty good mentally, you know. I'm pretty I'm in a pretty good mental spot because a little bit ago I think I was doing a little bit too much. Um, and while it was awesome to get so much content out for you guys, I was doing three PE news videos or three standard videos and also uh, PE live um, and sometimes even gameplay live streams at night. I mean, I was working like 12 hours a day. It was just too much and um, it was meant it was messing with my head mentally. So I had to cut back to two PE news or two videos and one PE live. And then sometimes, like I said, we're going to start getting more live streams afterwards, like with PE ultimate smash brothers and Mario Kart stuff like that. But especially like when, when Mario, when, um, super smash brothers ultimate comes out, that's when you guys are definitely going to want to be, we're going to work. That's going to be the most lit. We're going to have the most lit ultimate streams outside of Nairo and zero and the professional play. Well, just those two guys, we're going to have the best PE ultimate streams like or so PE, Ult PT, PE ultimate, but also super smash with this ultimate. We're going to have the best streams. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, we am gamer. Um, what's, how's it going, man? Um, Poland, uh, Poland essence. <laughs> Is it Luke? Lukin? Is it Luke? That's how you pronounce it. Um, will you play when it leaks? When what leaks? What are you talking about? Um, let's see here. Uh, thank you, citizens. Call your weekend streams PE International. No, nah, I'm just gonna call them PE Live and just have them early. <laughs> I don't. I don't want them. I don't want people thinking that you can That it's only for international people. Like when you name it something like that, that means it's. It gives the impression that it's only for that. But I want people, everybody, to join in. So really, this is just more for them, so they can actually have it at a decent time. Um, so, so yeah, I, I won't be naming it that, but uh, yeah, man, um, let's see, uh, Redfish, how's it going? Um, will I play when it leaks? What do you mean when it leaks? I'm just going to play when it releases. I don't know when it leaks. What do you mean by when it leaks? That doesn't make sense. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's get into, um, the content here, guys. We've got 150 people watching. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I do appreciate that. Dragon Quest XI has been somewhat officially announced for the Nintendo Switch. It's going to be titled Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age S for the Nintendo Switch. Not, well, just S. Stop. It's not going to be called anything after that. So Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age, Echoes of an Elusive Age S. That's what it's going to be called. Um, they say that the S stands for Switch or Special. Uh, it seems based on this and kind of what they were hinting at or what they were saying that there's going to be extra content in this version of the game. So there's going to be content that's not in the PS4 version of the game. And, um, I did get into a little talk with people on Twitter and some people were saying, oh, well, I hope that they do like the 3DS, you know, 2D overhead view and all that. I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. This is a port of the PlayStation 4 version. The, the PlayStation 4 version and the 3DS version run on completely different engines. They're already having a hard enough time or they're already taking enough time just making the base PS4 port of finished source code. There's no way that they're going to be able to fandangle in a whole completely separate classic sprite based or overhead or 2d mode into the game like or you know that type of art style they're just not going to be able to do it some people are asking for them like it's not going to happen it's a ps it's the ps4 version of the game running on unreal engine 4 um but what we could see is like extra items new quests missions exclusive weapons maybe like mario themed or something like that or zelda zelda themed zelda themed weapons something like that i think that's what we're going to get more so than a whole different graphical style. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but still no release date, no release window. They just said, wait a little bit more, please. Uh, they're going to have information on that. So I'm guessing that it's going to be at uh, Nintendo Direct. Uh, they did announce it just because people were just talking about it w way too much. Like, when is it going to happen or whatever? So I'm thinking that Nintendo's saving that for a Nintendo Direct for like the release date and the timing of when we're going to be able to get Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age S on there so so yeah there you go um 
So if you guys have anything to say on Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age, I'll be more than happy to take comments. Just tag me at Player Essence, um, at, or at Player Essence, or hashtag Player Essence. Um, uh, some of you guys are asking me random questions, guys. The Q&A will be at the end, so hold on to your random questions towards the end. We're talking about Dragon Quest. Don't want to derail the chat too much here. Um, so yeah, drag, we're talking about Dragon Quest in the chat. So... Um, so yeah, if you have anything that you want to ask me on that, then I'll be more than happy. Um, yeah, guys, we're I, I'm, we're not talking about any other games right now. This is a, the Q and A is at the end, so you can ask your questions at the end. We're talking about Dragon Quest XI: Echoes of an Elusive Age. Then we're gonna get into the MPD stuff, and then we'll we'll take questions at the end, guys. So just hold on to the hold on to those hold on to those. Um. Players, uh, why does the name seem weird? I don't know. Does the name seem weird? It's called Dragon Quest Eleven: Echoes of an Elusive Age S, which stands for Switch or Special ver Special Edition. I don't. If that seems weird to you, then okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Sunday streams are awesome. Um, let's see. Tether Gaming says, Players, would you recommend Dragon Quest Eleven over Final Fantasy Twelve? Um. I wouldn't say that I would recommend one more so than the other. I think that they're both good in their own right. They're both equally as good from what I've played. Um, yeah, I would recommend getting. I would recommend getting both, but I mean, it's not like it's like a one or the other, guys. Like you, I mean, you can pick one that you want to play first, whatever interests you more. Um, then pick that one, Dragon or. Final Fantasy 12 is a far more, even though it was made a long time ago, um, it's more modern and more advanced than Dragon Quest XI. Dragon Quest XI is a very basic RPG. It's actually super basic. It is ridiculously basic. It's like, it's, it's, it's less complex than Octopath. Octopath is fairly straightforward and basic, but Octopath has some things that make it a little bit more dynamic. Dragon Quest XI is one of the most basic, even for a turn-based West uh, Japanese RPG, it is extremely basic. Um, so um, if you're more into advanced mechanics, then I would say that Final Fantasy XII is your game. Um, if you're more into a traditional, straightforward RPG, Japanese RPG, then um, then uh, the Dragon Quest XI is more of your game then. Um, yeah, Dragon Quest XI, it, it doesn't play like every single other Dragon Quest game, but more so it plays pretty much like the, like Dragon Quest on the PS2, like that, Dragon Quest VIII, it plays a lot like that. Uh, Velvety, I'm doing good, thank you for asking, how are you doing today on this Sunday? Uh, Dragon Chi says, um, player, since I hope, um, hopefully we don't have to wait too long for this version, well, we've already been waiting a while, so the wait's gonna be longer. Um, it's hard uh, holding off on playing it on PC right now, but I know it'd be worth the wait. I mean, you you don't have to hold off, man. You can get you can you can get the PC version if you really want to play it. Then just there there's no shortage of RPGs coming to Nintendo Switch in 2019. There's no way that you're gonna be able to play every single thing. I mean, if if you want to play Dragon Quest on the PC right now, then play it. And then just pick up Final Fantasy XII: The Zodiac Age in 2019, or pick up Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, or pick up any one of the Final Fantasy games that are coming, or probably Shin Megami Tensei is going to be there. There's going to be more RPGs, you know, announced. You know, uh, Sword Art Online: Fatal Bolt. I mean, there's so many games coming. Don't hold yourself back. Just play it. If you want to sit there on your PC and play it, then just play it. I mean, there's going to be other stuff to play. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you play it on the Switch or not. If you, I mean, in my opinion, I. For me, this game fits the Switch more so than anything. But if you're really holding yourself back, I gotta play it. Yeah. Like if you're really holding yourself back, don't do it. Just just play it. There's and then play something else on the Switch when that comes out. I mean, next year we got Tales of Vesperia. There's so many RPGs to play next year. You don't gotta hold. You don't gotta torture yourself or hold yourself. Just 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 buy the game and play it, dude. Uh, how tall am I? I'm about five nine. Um, how tall are you, Velvet? Now that you're asking me, you're asking me that question. How tall are you? Yeah, I mean, if you can hold out for the Switch version, then hold out for the Switch version. What I'm trying to say is that don't like if if you're like barely hanging on, or if you're like, man, I'm really, I I want to play it on PC. Like, don't don't do that to yourself. You know, like don't. Don't do that to yourself. If you've got patience and want to wait, then wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think that's the thing. That, that's the thing about it is that you don't, 
you don't have to hold out don't do that to yourself there's so many games to play in 2019 there's so many rpgs there's no way you're going to be able to beat them all and play them all so i don't see why why you just wouldn't just get the game and then just if you want to get it again on switch you get it again if not then play all the other dude there's going to be like i said i've heard of like i said i've heard about some crazy announcements that are coming um shout out to the 177 people watching first of all thank you guys so much for joining me we had more people on today than we did on our yesterday's special live stream for tgs so thank you for everybody that came out sunday to watch um also guys um hit that like button and share the stream if you can if you're on twitter i'll be streaming since we got 177 people i'll definitely be streaming a little bit longer than i thought maybe i'll go a little bit into the 49ers game just because i hate the beginning of football games they always take so long to get started offenses are just kind of like whack i always like to watch like right around the second quarter when the guys are all warmed up and ready to go you know usually it takes around a good takes about a good, you know, quarter really for the guys to get in their groove and start really moving. The first quarters are always kind of lame for the most part. Well, unless, unless you're the Chiefs. But anyway, um, shout out to everybody watching. Thank you guys so much. Hit that like button. Let's keep it going. Um, let's see here. Um, my wife who's here. Oh, man. <laughs> shout outs. Um, you never told me how tall you are, Velvet. I told you my height, but you never told me you you never you never told me your height, Velvet. Oh, never mind. You just said how oh how are you? I already answered that. I thought you said how tall. Where did where did I see tall? What the heck am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, regard disregard what I said, Velvety. Um, let's see here. Uh, Rhythm says Dragon Quest XI playtime for 100 percent 110 hours for Final Fantasy XII. I don't know Final Fantasy XII playtime. It can get you over 100 hours. There's a there's there's a ton of content. Um, there's a ton of content on there. Um, uh, Nindy Gamers is crazier than Final, uh, crazier than Final Fantasy 7, 9, 10. And, okay, you guys are talking about somebody else. If you have a, if you have a question for me or if you have a comment for me, tag me at, uh, tag me at Player Essence. So, just so I know, because some of you guys are talking to each other. Um, so, if you have something else to say about Dragon Quest, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer questions or read off stuff. But I have no idea what some of you guys are, if you guys are talking to other people or stuff like that. Um... Uh, Suzumi, like I said before, that's a random question. Suzumi, if you're talking to me, um, if you want to just hold on, I know I already said this and I know you've been in the chat. Um, hold on to your random questions. We're talking about Dragon Quest. Hold on to your random questions towards the end and I'll answer you and I'll, and I'll answer stuff about Persona and stuff like that at the end, but I don't want to derail what we're talking about Dragon Quest. So please just hold on because I know you've been, you've asked a couple times now and I'm not sure if you heard me the first time or you weren't paying attention, but yeah, hold on to your random questions towards the end and I'll answer it at the end. I, I promise. Trust me um what was the dragon quest news the dragon quest news is that the uh, the official title for dragon quest 11 on the nintendo switch is dragon quest 11 echoes of an elusive age s which stands for switch and special version of the game so they're implying that there's going to be new uh content um in the switch version of the game so we were kind of spec i was speculating a little bit like it could be like legend of zelda content or things like that um or just extra dungeons or missions or quests or something like that either um as, or as well but i also think that nintendo's probably holding off for nintendo direct on this one uh to give us the release date and timing and all that pricing and all that stuff so all right take it easy jeremy you have a nice day uh what's up loud seven how's it going man um let's see party man says places i can't wait uh um i can wait patiently because i'm playing a lot of games especially rpgs currently yeah i know there's so many games right now i'm ripping through torna um i'm almost done with all the affinity charts so like i said i'm not going to say anything else outside of that i'll have my review for the game no spoiler review for the game uh coming up this week hopefully i should be pretty much 100 percent done with the game um collecting everything in the game because I'm, I'm actually almost done with their infinity charts uh, affinity charts so uh so yeah um so look forward to that guys uh but i've been playing that a lot um i'm trying to flex my height in the crowd dude i'm five foot nine <laughs> that's that's not tall <laughs> I'm barely I'm I'm five foot nine on my best days, guys. On my best days with my sand with my little thick sandals on. More probably like five eight and half or five eight and three four. I don't know. But I'm I'm not I'm not a tall person. Um Uh yeah, that's a, that's about telltale. Yeah, we'll talk about that at the end, uh Velvety if you want to talk about that. Um Tension 2002 says places just joined, but wondering about Dragon Quest 11 for 3DS. Will we come into the West or is it 100% dead here? It's 100% dead here. Uh, Square Enix already announced that they're not going to be bringing Dragon Quest 11 on the Nintendo 3DS uh, over to the West. 
Diamond says, uh, players, and since the localization is done, do you think it could maybe be a simultaneous release or, or at least one with a shorter window between regions? Yeah, I think it's going to be a simultaneous release um, in all regions since the localization is already done. Yeah, I think it will be. Kind of like uh, Valkyria Chronicles, right? Valkyria Chronicles for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, that localization was already done. The Switch version and the and the Western version, when, with the Switch in particular, but that's coming out day and day on the Switch or pretty much right around the same time in Japan and also in the West. So I think it's going to be very similar to that. Um, um, let's see here. Um, any way to transfer saves? Uh, the champ, they haven't released that information yet. They haven't really released any information um, on the Nintendo Switch. But I'm hoping that there is a way to transfer saves. That would be nice. Uh, they did a way to transfer saves between the 3DS and the PS4, so I don't see why they wouldn't maybe do something to try to transfer saves between the Switch and the um, and the PS4. But th I mean, don't, don't I don't think it's going to be like a guarantee type of thing. And shout outs to the 201 people watching. Okay, Sunday shows are good. Maybe we'll do Sunday shows all the time. Maybe we'll do Sunday shows all the time. <laughs> shout outs to the people that just joined in. We're talking about Dragon Quest XI: Echoes of an Elusive Age S for the Nintendo Switch. That's been announced. Uh, the official title. Um, it stands for special, stands for Switch. Um, looks like there's going to be some extra content in there, so we're kind of talking about that. And if you guys have any questions based on Dragon Quest XI, uh, a lot of these questions, obviously, I can't answer because we don't have the information on there, plain and simple. But it's it's worth noting. It's worth pointing out, asking a question if you have one. Um, Dank Beam says, says, do you think there will be Nintendo exclusive side quests in Dragon Quest XI? Well, that's what I was talking about. That's why it, it's possible that there's going to be, yeah, exclusive content like that. Yeah, it's possible, you know? uh shadow uh no no spam please dude relax calm down i don't know if you accidentally banged your head on your keyboard you know um but but yeah uh let's see here uh attention 2002 how good uh would you rate dragon quest 11 is it on par with eight um it's probably a little bit better than eight or it's on par it's a little, it's, it's on par a little bit better it feels a lot like eight um it's a very old school style like i feel even like the the, the weird random invisible walls and just like uh, it feels like a ps2 game it feels like just the, the the best looking ps2 game that you've ever played it feels that old school it doesn't even feel like a new game to be honest they've literally done nothing in mechanics wise to make it feel new <laughs> it feels like a ps2 game um you know like when you play a game like for example like xenoblade like that you, you didn't play games like xenoblade back in the day um, or even in that generation, you know, or if you play a game, even like Octopath, because Octopath kind of feels like Bravely Default, which Bravely Default feels like an old school game, but then it doesn't because old school RPGs didn't have you, you know, like defaulting and powering up and then attacking four times in a row and things like that. So it doesn't even feel like that, which Octopath, I mean, it looks old school, but Octopath doesn't feel like super old school, you know what I'm saying, or anything like that. It, it, it has its retro touch, but Dragon Quest feels very much like they're like, like they like they skipped all of like the the PS3 and all the way up until this point said okay let's just make a sequel to a PS2 game and make it feel just like it there's literally nothing it feels like it but obviously the graphics are a lot better um but yeah it, it's 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 good um Xeno Saga HD a thing I don't know if you're talking to me um Suzumi but like I said I'm I think I'm just going to start ignoring your questions at this point <laughs> I think I'm just going to start ignoring because I think or you're talking to somebody else because it, you ignored uh, or I don't know. I think you're just talking to somebody. Else. I think you're talking to other people in the chat. I, th I think that's what you're doing. So never mind. Disregard what I said. Um, so tag me at play. I'll just you know, I'm only going to read comments that people that tag me at player essence hashtag at player essence. If you have anything to say on Dragon Quest at this point, you have anything to say on Dragon Quest. Um, the closest thing to Xenoblade back in the day was final. Uh, you know what? I don't. I, I barely even consider that back in the day, um, you know, because that is 2006. So, um, yeah, but definitely Xenoblade. Yeah, the Gambit system. Definitely the Gambit system is more in depth. Uh, the Gambit system is crazy. Yeah, Gambit system is actually it's a psycho system. Um, it's really good though. That's why I said Final Fantasy 12 of Zodiac Age. That game has aged very, 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 very well considering. Compared to a lot of the games that came out today, Dragon, uh, Dra um, Final Fantasy XII has aged good. So, yeah, it's definitely good. It's definitely good to pick that one up. Um, Chibi Vinyl says, Precious OJ, uh, do you think Dragon Quest XI will have a b uh, better sales than Dragon Quest X? Yeah, because Dragon Quest X was a, uh, M as a MMO. So, yeah, it will. 
Um, uh, Velvet, hold on, hold on to those questions, Velvet. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about questions at the end. Uh, so if you have a question, we'll we'll talk about that at the end. Um, Triforce J, shout out to Elite Ninja Triforce J. Good to see you here, man. Hopefully you're doing good. I saw that post on Twitter that you made, man. Hopefully, hopefully you and your fam are okay. I'm praying for you, brother. Um, he says, uh, why do you think it was delayed so long? Oh, well, they actually talked about why it was delayed so long. Uh, the Unreal Engine, like they were trying to get the port done and it just wasn't wasn't really, it wouldn't perform up to what they're looking for techni technical wise. Uh, Unreal Engine 4 just got a recent update uh, like a month or two ago that really made things a lot better. So they really couldn't work on it too much um, without that update. So now that they got that update, they can really kind of ha hammer away at it and make sure it's quality. I mean, the last thing that you want is for the game to come out and then it's like kind of garbo. The game doesn't look good. The game doesn't perform good. So I think that's the biggest. That was the biggest issue. Um, uh, there's no date, uh, Muhammad. There's no date. Um, they just uh, I think that they're saving that for um, they're saving that for a Nintendo Direct, probably. Nintendo Direct on that one. Um... Any other questions on Dragon Quest? If not, we can move on to some of the MPD stuff and then we can wrap it up with the Q&A. Uh, yes, shout outs to the Sunday show. I work I, I work Sunday, so that would be great. All right, man. Yeah, we'll do we'll do more Sunday shows. When I can wake up, like like I said, I woke even though I didn't get much sleep, I woke up and I tried to go back to sleep, but I couldn't. I don't know what the deal was, but I really couldn't go back to sleep. Um, I think it's just because while I wasn't sleeping, I lied down. Like my body was resting, but I was I was watching Twitch. I was watching the roast of uh, Hugo Gonzalez, which was absolutely. If you're if you're in the melee or Smash Brothers community, watch the roast of Hugo Gonzalez. It is it is fantastic. It is very very funny, um, very funny. Um, so I was watching that. So I was just relaxing, you know. Didn't really do much after the spawn cast and everything. So, um, let's see. Tension two thousand two says, "Do you think that this could blow the door open for other Dragon Quest games?" I don't know if it's gonna blow the blow the door open for the Dragon Quest games. Um, I don't think I don't know if it's gonna do that, but I mean we could get some remakes or some re-releases of Dragon Quest games. I don't know if it's gonna do all that though. Um, all right, take it easy, TG Lopez. Thanks for coming out to the stream, homie. Um, do you think uh, um, is it Mig Aquino says questions? Do you think Dragon Quest Eleven will release early next year or late next year? I think it's going to be a, a mid, it's going to be like a mid to early next year. So I'm thinking like a June type of release. Um, so, so yeah. So yeah, like a June type of release or something like that, or maybe like a May. Um, is it uh, Tetsu, Tetsuken Pachi, Tetsuken Pachi says... Questions: Do you think we can expect more bosses in Dragon Quest XI, kind of like the U.S. and European versions of Final Fantasy VII back on the PS1? I don't think so. I mean, unless there's some like maybe some exclusive content, um, I think it's going to be very similar to the PS4 version of it, and with like maybe a couple extra added things. Nothing crazy though. Nothing super crazy. Um, there is uh, there isn't real 4K support, but it's PS4 Pro enhanced, so it's like checkerboarded 4K or whatever. You know, so it's not like native 4K, but there's definitely PS4 Pro enhancements um, on there. But it's not anything crazy. Like the art style doesn't really doesn't really lend well to like that 4K like stuff like that. But I mean, it definitely looks clean, a little bit cleaner in 4K. I mean, I've played it in 4K. I got a 4K TV here. I got a 4K TV in my living room, and I've played it on my Vizio 4K TV, and I played it on my higher quality Samsung 4K TV, and um, there's it's it's negligible like the differences between that i've played it on my base ps4 as well so i've played it on my ps4 i played it on my ps4 pro um and uh it's hard to kind of tell um you know but i mean it is cleaner though if you're playing it in 4k it's really sharp it's really sharp so Big Beam Center says, uh, would there be a Dragon Quest XI Switch bundle? Um, and would there be a co-op mode? No, I don't think there's going to be any co-op mode. Uh, but a Dragon Quest XI Switch bundle, that's possible for Japan, at, le at, at the least Japan. I don't know about the West, but Japan, yeah. 
Uh, well, we'll see if the other Dragon Quest games get localized. Like I said, I'm not really sure what's going to go down there. Um, they've talked about it a bit, but I don't think that there's any like solid information that there's actually going to be like a Dragon Quest, you know, uh, localization for certain things. So, um, Um, let me see, James. Are, I'm guessing English isn't your first language, but um, I think you're trying. It says, I think you meant why they didn't release it together with the PlayStation 4 version. Um, the reason why they didn't release it with the PlayStation 4 version because it wasn't finished. Um, the Unreal Engine that they were running the game on, it would have been a crappy port of the game. Um, so they really needed to um, iron out all the kinks and actually get working on it because they were working um, on the PlayStation 4 version, which has a more advanced finished version of unreal engine 4 so uh, we, we recently got an update for unreal engine 4 um and they fin and they now they can really hammer away and get the get the game done and make sure it's a good port all right take it easy itaki thanks for coming out to the stream homie Tetsuko, uh, Tet Tetsuko Kenpachi says, um, if the Switch version of Dragon Quest XI really is a straight port, visually speaking, um, sh I don't know what that last word means. Um, Shiplid? Okay. Um, it's a, stra I don't, a straight port visually. It's a port of the PlayStation 4 version. It's using Unreal Engine 4. They've already stated that. It's a port of the PlayStation 4 version of the game. The Switch is not as powerful as the PlayStation 4, so it's not going to look exactly like the PlayStation 4 version. But visually and graphics engine-wise, it's going to be as close as possible. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even about if it's like a rumor or anything like that. That's what they've they've already stated that. It's, a, it's the PlayStation 4 port of the game. It's not the 3DS version. It's not some type of weird version that uses some other type of weird engine that they made or something. It's Unreal Engine 4, PlayStation 4 port of the game. Probably with some extra content in there. You know, probably with a little bit of extra content in there. That's what they've already stated. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it sucks that the Switch version gets delayed. But at the same time, do you want a crappy port? I mean, like, a lot of people, you guys, some people get upset about stuff like that. But if the game came out and if it wasn't a good port, then you'd be yelling at, you'd be yelling at Square Enix. Like, why is this a crappy port? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like... There's enough games to play. Now, I can understand if there wasn't enough games to play, you know, then I could understand, like, you know, being, like, super, super upset about it. But there's still plenty of stuff to play. I mean, literally, Torna just launched, you know. So, like, there's enough stuff to play um, outside of that. Valkyria Chronicles 4 is going to be here. Dragon Ball Fighters is going to be here. You know, I mean, I can understand if, like, Dragon Quest is your favorite game of all time or something like that. But if it's your favorite, just go buy it on the PC. I mean, like, it's not that big of a deal to the point where you have to, like... Like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to buy the game. I got to get it on Switch. Like, ah! like it's, it's not it's not that big of a deal. Like, in my opinion, at least. Like, if you're a big Dragon Quest fan, like, it's not that big of a deal. If you're not, if you're just looking forward to the game, then, then wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many other things that you can play, you know? Um, was that says, can you send a new Discord invite on uh, Patreon? I became a Patreon and the invite was expired. Um... Can you send me a message on Patreon and I'll send you and I'll send you a uh, just send me a personal message on Patreon and I'll send you an invite. So, so yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and move on from Dragon Quest. Um, so let's go ahead and move on from Dragon Quest, guys. Uh, we'll move on to the next topic here. We're gonna talk about some of the NPD. So let's go over the top ten NPD. I'm gonna go through this information, then I'll get you guys' thoughts on it. Um, I talked about the MPD just a little bit, for, but this is from Matt um, Piscatella, uh, Piscatella um, on Twitter. Um, and let's go over the top 10 MPD best charting for August 2018. Uh, so number 10 was Super Mario Odyssey, and uh, the digital sales were not included. Neither was PC sales either uh, for any of these games. Uh, number 10 was Super Mario Odyssey. Number 9 was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Number eight was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Number seven was God of War. Number six was Naruto 2 Boruto Shinobi Striker. Number five was Mario Kart 8. No digital sales. 
Uh, number four was Grand Theft Auto V. Number three was Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. And number two, number two was Monster Hunter World. And number one was Madden NFL 19. So those were the top 10 MPD uh, sales for August. Um, moving on to the next thing here, guys. Uh, we have um, a little bit of a... Um, uh, what I was about to say here. Okay, yeah. Um, MPD. Uh, hold up. Never mind. Never. We're gonna go into the plug and play sales. So this is the reason why Sony really got into the plug and play, like mini classic console. So in the U.S. MPD hardware sales, August 2018 dollar sales for plug and play consoles grew by a factor of 21 times when compared to a year ago, and uh, are now up over 400 percent year to date so the nes classic is the year's best selling plug and play console in units while the snes classic leads in dollar sales so think about that just right here up 21 times 400 percent increase this is the reason why sony made this system they are looking at these sales nintendo is literally making millions hundreds of millions of dollars off of the nes classic and the super nintendo classic these little plug and play systems and sony said we need to get in on this they definitely said we need we need this is a gold mine um so that's going to make a lot of money for sony too but looking at these sales numbers it's pretty obvious sony wants to get this out and get this out in a hurry that's why it's coming out in december i mean they're probably getting out as quick as possible um so that's definitely good for the plug and play sales the dollar unit sales really good there and then the last piece of information that we're gonna go over for the nintendo switch that is is that um obviously switch was the um not obviously but if you didn't know august nintendo switch was the best selling hardware uh for august um we went over the top three games mario kart 8 deluxe uh super mario odyssey legend of zelda breath of the wild all of those games were in the top 10 uh but then also for the us npd hardware nintendo hardware unit and dollar sales are the highest to date total since 2011 the nintendo switch neon red slash blue joy con 32 gigabyte is the year's best selling hardware item in both unit and dollar sales so singular item now ps4 is still sold most year to date at this point but the ps4 there's all sorts of variations or skews within the ps4 so they're not counting all of that there's like a ps4 pro and there's a regular baseline ps4 right so they're not counting that they're counting just basically the red and blue joy con so out of any single skew the red and blue joy con um nintendo switch is the best selling in unit sales and dollar sales so ps4 is still top overall when it comes to year-to-date sales with everything combined but the best selling item out of the SKUs is uh the nintendo switch uh red and blue red and blue joy con 32 gigabyte system so very good and, and i would think so because if you look on amazon nintendo switch uh the red and blue joy con uh, is always um at the top um let me let me take a look here uh best uh, if we get best sellers uh video games it's always right near at the top you know um always right near at the top i think if you're looking at it right now at this point like yeah we see it right here it's already it's 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 the highest selling system outside of the plug and plays um and the and the, the playstation classic so regular system amazon it's number 20 and the next system isn't even close and then like you just got the super nintendo classic and all that stuff like that so i mean it, it's doing really well it's doing really well um nintendo's going to continue doing well i think the portability is the big key for that so um good stuff all around for nintendo with the mpd um we'll see how things go i think september is going to be a kind of a a blowout for sony because they got spider-man uh, but nintendo nintendo's probably going to re, uh, recover back with some uh uh what's uh, uh with in october because they got starlink they've got super mario party they've got some pretty cool games um in october and then november is obviously pokemon and diablo and like warframe and a lot of other stuff so awesome stuff there um all right so you guys have almost knocked me out you guys have almost knocked me out here let's go over some of the stats here all right so in the top corner you guys see here you guys almost got my hp knocked out you almost knocked me out who's gonna be who's gonna put 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 out the knockout blow thank you so much for is it an insider insider and cinder and hinder thank you so much for the subscription welcome to elite ninja village homie appreciate you subscribing to the channel everybody welcome him and also shout outs to jonas erickson you are the top ninja for the stream the two dollar donation thank you so much jonas appreciate that top ninja so we're almost there guys we're almost there um all right so let's go ahead and um let's take some questions or take some comments when it comes to uh the mpd um tag me at player essence uh and i'll be more than happy 
to answer questions on, on anything with the MPD or the Switch sales or PS4 sales or anything to do MPD wise, top 10. Um, any questions you guys have or comments that you guys want to talk about or, you know, your own general thoughts, this is your time to do it for you guys, you know, so um yeah people still buy madden but it's not like it sells as much as like fifa or something like that but yeah people still buy it because people like football here in america it, really the only reason where madden sells is right here in the u.s just right here in the united states of america it doesn't really sell anywhere else outside of the united states of america that's all it sells it's just here um saturn mini is there a saturn mini <laughs> um Ethan R says, Players, why wasn't the Castlevania collection announced? Uh, they probably are waiting for something. I'm not sure what they're waiting for, but maybe they're waiting for Nintendo Direct. Maybe they're waiting just to have it on their own day. But yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, thank you, Senator says, does the MPD include console bundles? Uh, console bundles. Yeah, it includes console bundles. Yes. Um, Cameron Schur says, Places, what are your thoughts on um, Monster Hunter Double Cross being in the top 15 despite launching late August? Um, it's good. I mean, Monster Hunter is obviously popular. Monster Hunter World was number two, I think, right? Like, looking at the charts here. So, yeah, Monster Hunter is definitely good. Um, people are happy about Monster Hunter. I know a lot of people even bought Monster Hunter digitally, too. Uh, that did well on the eShop as well. So, um, so yeah, people love Monster Hunter, man. So, it's good. It's good that we see Monster Hunter um, get some sales here and there. Um... Um, Alonzo, I already mentioned at the beginning, this, this does not include, it's certain games don't include digital sales, but no, pretty much, no, actually pretty much none of these games include digital sales. This is all retail sales. Uh, sometimes they, sometimes they include digital sales, but not, not this time with Super Mario Odyssey, with a lot of these games, there's no PC included digital sales. There's no steam. There's no eShop sales included. So no, per, for the most part, no, no digital sales. Um, let's see here. Um, Mo, I think, I think that is, um, I think that's a random question. We're talking about the MPD and the sales and all that. So, Mo, if you wanna, if you wanna hold on, or Mo, if you wanna hold on to the random questions towards the end, we're gonna do a Q and A right after this. So, just hold on to that, and um, I'll be more than happy to get random comments and questions in, guys. Okay. Um, let's see, Mr. V says, Price says uh, were you surprised that Octopath already dropped out of the top 20? No, not surprised, because Octopath, um, it's going to be one of those games that has sustained sales at a little bit of a lower amount. It's not going to be one of those games that's going to be in the top 10 or top 20 MPD every single month, but it's going to be sustained sales of like 3,000, 4,000, or whatever the case is, over the course of a very long time. So it's going to have sustained sales. So no, no, not, not surprised at all. Um... Because if you look at Amazon, if you, if you look at all the, pretty much what we see, like, with the, from what I've seen from my sources, that it pretty much Octopath sells at a steady clip. It's not going to be something that's going to be up in the top 20 every single time or anything like that. Um, so, so no, not surprised at all. And it's already sold a lot. So, there you go. Um, let's see here. Uh, thank you, Senator Players. Is, is the 3DS in a decline? I mean, I don't know what you consider a decline, but no, I wouldn't say it's in a decline. It's just in a, it sells anywhere from 60 to 80,000 units every single month in the U.S. It sold another 71,000 units this past month. So, decline from when? Not really. I mean, <laughs> not really. Digital's the way to go. I don't know about that, man. Uh, I'm just going to call you uh, T-Pachi. says, uh, which game do you think uh, will top the charts in October? Uh, Red Dead. Red Dead. Um, also, have you noticed that Final Fantasy 15 is currently still the best-selling download-only game on the Switch? Yes, I've noticed that. And, uh, yeah, it's... It, people are buying it because it's Final Fantasy because they want to play it. They think it's interesting. It's Final Fantasy, so so people are playing it. It's interesting. So there you go. But, yeah. Um, and, yeah, Red Dead's going to be the best-selling game. It's going to be Red Dead or Call of Duty. One of those two. Red Dead, maybe. Or Call of Duty. One of those. All right, no, you know what? Since we're including PC and all that, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Call of Duty because I mean if we're talking about PC too, uh, Red Dead's not on PC. So I'm going to go with Call of Duty, but Red Dead is going to be right there, you know. Uh ML says uh Plus, do you think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will will keep selling like this until the end of the Switch's life uh, lifetime? It depends on if we get a sequel or not. Um if we get like a Mario Kart 9, then the sales will obviously dip because everyone's going to start buying that. It just depends on it just depends on that. 
Um, no, no, it's just questions. I noticed Shemu isn't in the MPD sales. Thoughts? Why would Shemu be in? The, it's it's an old HD collection. Why would Shemu be in the MPD sales? Like that's not that's that's not the type of game. That's the type of that's that's the type of game that you're not going to see in the top MPD sales. That you're you're going to see like it's not it's not that type of game though. No. And my thoughts are, it's not, I never, nobody ever thought that it was going to be, it's, it's old Shenmue games, you know? Uh, thank you, Senator, this player, since, uh, which Switch bundle would sell the most in November, Smash or Pokemon? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I am going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, the Smash bundle, and I'm going to say the Smash bundle, because the Smash bundle comes out first um and it'll have more days to sell so i'm gonna go ahead and say the smack because the smash bundle comes out november 2nd which i already have my pre-order in um but the pokemon bundle comes out the day of the game so like the 16th so i'm gonna go ahead and say uh the smash bundle is gonna sell more because it's out for more days in november um that's true that it's two bundles, but that doesn't mean it's going to sell more. That doesn't mean, <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to sell more. That doesn't mean you get more allocations. Even if it was one bundle and it was the same thing, that doesn't mean it's going to sell more because of that. They'll probably still like, like for example, like let's just say it was just one, right? Just because they and let's say a store, a big store, gets seventy of them. Just because it's it, just because there's two, doesn't mean they get like a hundred and forty of them. They'll still only get seventy, but then they'll just split it like thirty five, thirty five, or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? So just because there's two bundles doesn't mean that there's all automatically more out there. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, even like the only way that I can say that it would be that it would get more is if there was some type of like content that was included in one or the other which prompts people to buy both more like for example the pokemon games sell more because uh there's two of them but because you need the two like to get all the pokemon so that's the reason why those games sell like work with two but the pokemon bundle like i don't think people are really going to spend that much in order to get the game more so they'll just buy one of them and then maybe if they want the other game they'll just buy the other game but you know i don't think it's going to be a big boost to sales having two versions of that. i don't think that, that that's going to make it do more just because there's two of them um so like i said that doesn't mean that you like double the allocation it just means that you get you know you get the same allocation that you're going to get based on pre-orders but it's just it's just split you know <laughs> that's all it is Uh, Mr. V says, uh, what do you think of uh, K uh, Kiwami 2 not getting in the top 20? I think it's a sign that Yakuza uh, fatigue or Yakuza just isn't big here in the U.S. I think it's more of the the, the latter than the former. It's just y Yakuza has never been a huge franchise. Like MPD top sales. Look at these games that are in the MPD top sales, guys. Rainbow Six Siege is a game that came out so long ago. These are what Americans buy the most. These are what like Westerners buy. Like They don't buy stuff like Shenmue and Octopath consistently. People buy the same cheap game games every single time it's just Cl Cl tom clancy grand theft auto it's the, you know it's the same stuff call of duty same with nintendo mario odyssey legend of zelda mario kart it's the same stuff every single time guys it's nothing it's it's nothing really new this is just how it is in the west that doesn't mean the game sells bad that doesn't mean that they're not making any money it's just not in the top mpd sales uh pokemon will sell more sorry first of all why are you apologizing to me um and second of all um no there's not a guarantee that pokemon will sell more <laughs> there's not a guarantee but you don't need to apologize i don't work for nintendo i don't care which one sells more i'm telling you the reason why smash is going to sell more is because it's coming out before pokemon plain and simple that's the reason why i think it's going to do more it's it's out on the market more days than pokemon plain and simple you know, <laughs> like plain and simple. And Smash Brothers Ultimate is the main game. It's not the sub side main game like of po Pokemon 2019. That's going to I think that game's going to potentially sell more. You know what I'm saying? If that game was matched up against Smash Brothers this year, then OK, then I then, then I got you. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's Pokemon. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Not. And this is Smash Brothers Ultimate. So. So, yeah, that's the reason. But, no, you don't need to apologize. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't need to apologize. Um, Random Smash TV with the subscription. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Random Smash. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village. Guys, how much HP do I have left? Like, 450 HP? We're almost there. Almost there. Can you guys knock me out? Can you guys do it? 
What's up, T dude? How's it going, man? Um, cool, cool geek. Uh, that is a random question. Hold on to your random questions right now. Right now, we are discussing the MPD. So, if you have a question, first of all, tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence. Um, oh snap! What party, party man? Party man with the Toby Blaster! What is this party man? I did not expect that from you. What the heck? <laughs> party man with the twenty dollar Toby Blaster donation knocking me out and also becoming the stream bot yo party man has a sick avatar yo party man this avatar is sick we gotta we gotta we gotta expand this a little bit we gotta make this a little bit bigger here so people can see party man look at party man's hp yo let's go party man live stream maker yeah th i think this is this should be the size right here so people can really see who the boss is and all the hps left and everything party man becoming the boss of this stream Party Man also becoming the top ninja of this stream with a $20 Toby Blaster to finish me off. Appreciate that, Party Man. I'm dead. Uh, Party with a $20 donation says, This is why people shouldn't worry about stocks. The Switch is still selling great. Anyway, I'm liking the consistent streams. Keep up the great work. You deserve the success. First of all, thank you, Party Man. Um, Party Man, you are probably like the most legit cool dude that I've ever, one of the most legit cool calm and collected dudes I've ever met. You have a good head on your shoulders. You were much more mature than I was at your age when I was in college. But first of all, shout outs to you. Um, and second of all, man, yeah, exactly. Like the, the whole stock situation, which I still need to release a video party, man. Um, I need to release a video. I have about half of it done or so where um, where business Toby comes back with the whole stock situation. But I waited too long. So I'm thinking like it's not going to be as, as funny as a video because people won't know what I'm talking about. But I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe finishing that video. I don't, I'm not really sure. But the whole stock situation is kind of like blown over. I should have I should have got it done. But there was just so much stuff that was going on at that time. But I do have a Toby business Toby video where he comes back and like he explains where he's been. Where business. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I should do it or not because it's kind of it's kind of um, it's it's kind of weird, you know. The videos, just, like I said, the videos. Just, I thought about cutting out certain parts of it, but it's definitely a little bit more PG thirteen ish to you know than than my videos usually are. But I thought about it, man. I thought about it. I thought about it. I don't know. I'm, I might have a goal to release it or not because I still have I still got a lot more production to do on it. But we'll see. We'll see. Release the release the video business. I, yeah, it was a. It was a, it's a weird video. It's a super weird video. It's a super weird video. I, I don't even know what I was thinking when I made the video. <laughs> when I, like I said, it's about 50% done. It's not completely done. But like I ran out of ideas. Like the, the, all the cool ideas were like in the first two minutes of the video. And then after that, I was like, my mind went blank. And I'm like, I can't release a two minute video. And then, and then I just never finished it. I just never finished it. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'll finish it. Maybe I'll finish it at some point. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, VCIPZ is just stopping by. All right, man, take it easy, dude. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Appreciate that. Um, thank you. Let's see here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's move into uh, random questions, co tom comments, topics. Uh, I think I should probably have that somewhere on here. Like, if hold on to questions until the very end. Uh, um, so let's go ahead and let's get into random stuff here. So uh, Maui says, players, since uh, DMC5 got some microtransactions, uh, they're trying to get us. Uh, DMC4 Special Edition had microtransactions. I'm not a huge fan of microtransactions within the, within the single player games. I don't care if it doesn't impede your progress or not. I'm just not a huge fan of it when it comes into tying into the actual progression of what you're going to be doing. So I don't want that to become a normal and it's going to be easy for developers to hide throttling. They can say, oh, well, we're not trying to throttle you with these microtransactions when they actually are or when they actually made it to like, okay, let's make it, let's let's reduce the amount of red orbs that you get by 1% in this chapter and then by 2% in this chapter and then by 1.5% in this chapter and then by maybe 3% in this chapter so they can slowly throttle you you know what i'm saying to where you won't notice to where you won't notice to where you won't get as many orbs as you would have normally got if they weren't thinking about microtransactions and people who want to spend money on that they're gonna try to uh, like you know drip throttle you that's what they're gonna do they're gonna make it seem like oh well you're still gonna get all the normal orbs that you would get normally but i bet you anything if microtransactions wasn't part of their mind because these people are they're capitalistic i guarantee you that the orb pro progress would be a little bit better like i said i, I can't prove that obviously but that's the type of mindset that i'm thinking about i'm like okay they're not gonna make it obvious 
obviously they're not super they're not that dumb they're not gonna make it to where you get like a you know where you're not getting any type of damn orbs and like you're really strapped for orbs they're not gonna make it like that but i think they're gonna throttle you they have to throttle you just a little bit or otherwise it becomes pointless they want they're, they're gonna throttle you just a bit and I, and I know that's what they're gonna do and it's not gonna be noticeable so it's not gonna have a ton of backlight like a ton of consequence at the end of the day but i guarantee you if that i get I can assure you, or at least what I think is that if microtransactions weren't a part of it, I guarantee you, you'd get a little bit more red orbs at times, you know, when, since there is microtransactions, you know, they are going to maybe, oh, uh, maybe not so much red orbs in this stage, maybe a little bit less in this stage, maybe a, a little bit less in this stage, you know, they, they want you to buy those microtransactions, come on, uh, so yeah, um, I'm still going to get the game, but now I'm not going to get the game day one, now I'm gonna, going to wait, I'm going to wait a little bit um thank you says clearly sony wins september mpd with spider-man nintendo wins december mpd with smash uh, which would be greater in sales um i think S smash is going to have bigger sales than spider-man um in my opinion um yeah pokemon sells more than um any smash but no not all pokemon sells more than any smash um pokemon let's go i don't know if that game's gonna sell more than smash smash ultimate is Smash Ultimate's gonna sell more than Pokemon Let's Go, in my opinion. Based on what we've seen so far, based on Pokemon, some Pokemon fans just not gonna buy this game. Smash Ult every single Smash Brothers fan and people who aren't even Smash Brothers fans are going to buy Smash Ultimate. So I'm thinking that Smash Ultimate's going to outsell Pokemon Let's Go. Now, is it going to outsell Pokemon 2019? No, I don't think so. I think Pokemon 2019 will ultimately sell more, but I think Smash is definitely going to outsell uh, Pokemon Let's Go, based on what I've seen. Uh, there's no guarantee that Let's Go is going to sell like a crazy, you know, there's no guarantee. It's going to sell really good. It's going to sell awesome, but there's no guarantee that it's going to outsell Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's no guarantee. And if you look at Amazon, if you look at the best sellers for Amazon, what game has been pre-ordered and selling more? Smash Bros. Ultimate is crushing Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee in pre-orders, at least here in the West with Amazon, the largest, one of the largest retailers in the world. It's crushing it. Po uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is pretty much the best selling game of the year. For the most part on amazon and it's not even out yet you know <laughs> so especially this ultimate is really kind of crushing it in pre-orders you know so i know it's just pre-orders but it's it's not looking like it's going to be close between smash ultimate and and pokemon let's go this is the ultimate version of smash brothers the real pokemon game is coming out next year um let's see here um uh, shout outs to um uh, Hamad with the two dollar donation and says so many games can't keep up. Can you play uh, Valence D uh, Fan Fantastica from Final Fantasy? I probably said that wrong. Uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen, please. Thank you. All right, man. Thank you, said. So, uh, thank you so much, Ahmad A. I appreciate the uh, donation. And uh, yeah, like uh, I can definitely put that for you. Um, and I probably butchered your name as well. So sorry for butchering your name. Sorry for butchering the Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, sorry about that. Um. Let's see here. Uh, pa, 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 pa. This is a weird name. All right, here we go. Um. I like Final Fantasy 15. It's a good game. All right, let me go over some more of these questions. Uh, when do you think Sword Art Online will come to Switch? Uh, at the end of this year or early next year. Patrick Fiebert says, uh, players, says, which console will perform best this holiday season for MPD? When's the holiday season for you? November, December, sw Switch. Um, we have gamers says, release, uh, release it in Adult Swim, like the censored Dexter's Lab episode. I don't know what you're talking about. I forgot what game you're talking about. Alonzo says, players, says, do you think Pokemon 2019 is going to be one or two games? That's going to be two games. They've already kind of hinted at that. Always Learning 60 says, players, says, never, uh, never played a Xenoblade game. Is it okay to start with Torna? Absolutely. It's the best one. Um, T-Dude says, players, says, have you heard that director Katia Nomura is showing interest in continuing the World Ends With You series? Uh, I have heard about that, but I mean, yeah, that, that's great. I want to see. I that guy, that guy says a lot of things, though. Um, let's see. Gabriel uh, RDS RDZS says, "Would a newcomer to Dragon Quest be lost if they start on 11?" 
Uh, no, every single Dragon Quest is different, so no. It's a completely different type of game, so no, you're not going to be lost. It's like, think of it like Final Fantasy. Like, you don't have to play Final Fantasy 6 to play Final Fantasy 9. You don't have to play Final Fantasy 2 to play Final Fantasy 15. They're all different. Dragon Quest XI is the same thing, completely different. All that carries over is, like, is, like, the battle system. Sometimes battle systems, but not really. And, like, enemies. That's a, and, and art style. That, that's about it. Other, other than that. Um, so yeah, uh, Moses questions. Do you think Monosoft's next game will be their uh, will be their new IP, Xenoblade Three or Xenoblade Chronicles uh, Two or Xenoblade X Two, including a Xenoblade X Four? That's a lot of different stuff. But I think Monosoft's next game is a new IP, and then I think Xenoblade Chronicles Three is coming, and maybe a port at some point of X. Um, which game will win Game of the Year? Uh, God of War is probably going to win Game of the Year. Party Man says, uh, player, since uh, people say that microtransactions doesn't affect the game, but the idea of having that in game, in games versus the past doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't sit well with me either. Um, Artist Sakura says, player, since, what's up? I quit my, uh, quit my bum job yesterday. I'm free now. Well, how are you going to make money, though, Artist? Did you, you didn't, you didn't find another job before you quit your job? I mean, I just get fired from all my jobs, so I mean, I don't even have the opportunity to find another job before I quit my job. I always get fired before I quit, so, I mean, you should have just got fired so you can get unemployment, at least. You know? Uh, we have gamers, this question I was talking about the video you did not upload. Oh, okay. I had no idea you were talking about that. Um... Let's see, Mark L. Authors is places. I'm still unbelievably hyped for Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 9, the best one, and, and 10 are coming to the Switch. What's your favorite Final Fantasy? Uh, my favorite Final Fantasy is probably Final Fantasy uh, 6. That's probably my favorite. 6. Um, Brennan says, places, which is better, Hollow Realization or Fatal Bullet? Uh, I think Fatal Bullet's better. Um, Dank Beam Center says, places, um, could there be Pokemon Let's Go for Gen 2 through Gen 5? Sure, why not? Our security person says, I'm self-employed now. Sweet. Self-employed. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. If you need any business help, let me know. Let's do it. Self-employed. Let's go. What 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 type of... You don't have to tell me exactly what you're doing, but what, what type of business are you going into with the self-employment, if you don't mind me asking, artist? Um, uh, Jonathan says, hello from... Na is it uh, Narita, Japan? Again, OJ? Your thoughts on Switch in just under two years, probably going to surpass PS4 lifetime sales in Japan by December? Uh, what's up, man? How's, first of all, how's it going from Japan? How, how was TGS, man? Were you following that news? Um, so shout outs to there. Um, and, um, my thoughts on it, it's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's kind of guaranteed, right? It's kind of given, right? Because Switch is a portable system. We all know Japan loves their, their dedicated portables. A mobile's huge in Japan. So it all, it makes, it makes sense. It makes sense that that's going to happen. PS4 is not, you know, it's not super popular in Japan, even though it has all the Japanese games. It's not. It's not like super, super, like it doesn't sell like a ton. Like right now, like it's getting everything right. And like, it's not really selling that well in Japan. It's like selling, like, sometimes it sells less than 20,000 units a month, you know, and that's even with huge hitters coming to it. Like people just aren't buying the system as much. So, so yeah, that was kind of a given. Um... Uh, Iced Earth Aholic says, I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out more information on the Switch port of Dragon Quest XI. Love it on PS4. Yeah, hopefully we get some more information. Hopefully we get some more information. Mr. V says, uh, Player says, do you think Switch will pass up N64 in sales next? Uh, well, yeah, that'd be the only system that it can pass up next, right? It, that'd be the next system that it would have to pass up. So, yeah, it's it's going to... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Never mind. I, I can't read, Mr. V. Mr. Valvinus. Um, do you think Switch will pass up N64 in sales next year? Oh, yeah, that is... <laughs> that's like a guarantee, dude. Next year, let me tell you what, what's coming out next year. Next year, you've got all the Final Fantasy games, okay? Which are going to be system movers for Nintendo. All those Final Fantasy games, anywhere that you want, those are system sellers. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you can play them on other systems. It's You get portable and console Final Fantasy on the system. Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, is going to be big on the p on the nintendo switch i think sales i think people didn't buy that game as much as people would have because the game did not blow out sales okay i'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this i, I want to talk about this because that is a good this is a good thing so just let me give, give me a second guys final fantasy 12 the zodiac age for a system for it being on a system with 80 million units i would expect a game that good to sell 7 million copies 6 million copies 5 million copies the fact that that game is nowhere near 
six or seven million copies shows me that people aren't buying it for a reason it's not because it's an old game it's not because a bunch of people bought it before this game came out in the sixth generation okay this is a ps2 game there are millions upon there are so many ps4s out there this game barely sold i think it sold like less than two million units that seems to me like a lot of people are holding out for something in my opinion so i do feel that final fantasy 12 is going to be a big mover for nintendo and it's going to help move well past the N64. Like, Nintendo's probably going to hit near the N64 by March. Like, this, this at the end of this year, Switch is going to sell, Switch is going to sell, like, nearly 10 million units by the end of this year. It's going to sell, like, an additional, like, 10 million units by the end of this year. November and December are going to be huge. There's going to be at least minimum of 5 million, minimum of 5 million sales in November, 5 million sales in December for the Nintendo Switch. It's definitely going to hit those numbers. Last year in Japan, by itself, with Xenoblade, just with Xenoblade in December, and of course the other games that came out, Switch hit like over 1 million in like Japan. That was just in that region. And it hit like worldwide, obviously it, it did way better than that. Um, so I think that with Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee in November, Diablo, all the stuff that's coming out, Warframe, all of those games, um, then I think it's also Civilization. On top of that, you also have in December, you have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And then in January, you have a new Super Mario Bros. That is a one, two, three punch that's really just gonna carry Nintendo to probably 10 million units plus easily. So that would put Nintendo, we're not even at, at that point, right? We're talking about from November. So that would put Nintendo at 30 million um, plus because they're already over 20 million easily at this point. Um, so that would put them at over 30 million and that's not even at March. So yeah, they're gonna be passing up the N64 very early. I would guess by March or well, maybe like June or July, they're going to pass up the N64. So, so yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dragon Chi says, uh, will older Final Fantasy games 7, 9, 10 be sold at the same time or throughout the year or also 7 and 9 remastered? No, they're not really remastered. No, not really. Uh, they're smoothed out a bit probably. Um, but um, they're probably going to be sold at different times, not at the same time. That's what I would think um always learning 66 places i'm i'm uh i'm a raider fan pulling for your 49ers so I'm, i feel bad for you man uh khalil mack is having a pretty good uh pretty good year already you guys you guys need some you guys need some pass rush over there for the raiders you guys are kind of lacking on the the pass rush side but no nah, shout outs man um i always like the raiders because the raiders have uh, my boy uh Derek carr you know um leading the helm um just for let you guys know i went to school with Derek at fresno state here in california so i'm always pulling for my boy Derek carr because he is the he is the quarterback of the raiders he's also from my hometown as well so he's a hometown hero here he's also from my hometown and i also went to school with him at fresno state uh so yeah i'm always pulling for the raiders to get that w because because of Derek carr because he's from he's from where i'm from and he also went to the same school we're both from you know both fresno state alum fresno state football alum so there you go man um let's see here um jonas erickson says players since um online gamers in china need to register their personal details for the government people falling in to register or failing to register are only allowed to play one hour a day makes uh, makes you appreciate our freedom that is horrible and yes definitely makes you appreciate the freedom um however i mean you can move out of china if you want to move out of china they're not i don't think that they don't make people stay there so if you're if if you're in China and you're not happy with what they're doing there, I mean, you can always pack your stuff and go from what I understand, unless somebody can correct me. Do they not allow their people to move out of the country? Um, but if I lived in China, I'm not trying to. Uh, first of all, no shots to China, by the way. Um, but if I lived there, I couldn't I couldn't do I couldn't live with their rules and regulations of the government. It's too much. It's way too much. But yes, it definitely makes you appreciate uh, your freedom when they're making you register like that's 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 ridiculous and like i said no shots to china the world is different i know good and well that different parts of the world have different standards and regulations not trying to you know all oh, hardcore america you know or anything like that i'm just trying to say like i think that particular instant and thing is stupid and ridiculous that is ridiculous that you are limiting your people like that you know that i don't like it i don't like it i don't it has nothing to do with what type of government or politics like that is dumb in my opinion um but yes definitely makes you appreciate the freedom that we do have like i said video gaming is it, it, it is a it is a benefit it is a privilege it is not a guaranteed thing in life to play video games you know 
you could have one arm and then all of a sudden you can't play video games anymore. You can get all your fingers blown off. So God forbid anybody get all their fingers blown off, but you can get your fingers blown off. All of a sudden you can't play games anymore. You know what I'm saying? It is a privilege that you have two hands that to play video games. Okay. And you have eyes that you're not blind. You could be blind. And while you can play video games while blind, it is all really hard to play video games while blind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's, it's almost somewhat pointless, you know, to a degree, unless you, you can play like a music, a music rhythm game that has some type of vibration um, inputs. I mean, for you to, to feel to where you can play that, but it's a privilege guys. It's a privilege. And don't ever take that. Don't, don't ever take it for granted that you have the ability to see, to hear and to play you know what i'm saying um so yeah because look at what's going on here in china um shadow king 1982 said uh hold up brennan says uh do you think we'll get persona 5 for the switch i mean i don't know if it'll ever happen but i think we're gonna get some type of persona for the switch um um <clears throat> Well, the problem, the problem, Zeno uh, emblem is that Pokemon uh, Go is not the same as Let's Go. If there was a Super Smash Brothers mobile game, I guarantee you that it would sell. It would it would be downloaded as a lot as well. You know what I'm saying? If there was some type of Super Smash Brothers mobile game, I guarantee you that it would be just as much downloaded as Pokemon Go or near that. There'd be a lot of people that download that too. You know. Um, but let's Pokemon Let's Go is not the same. Let's go, like a console, a sixty dollar version of the game is very different from the free mobile app. You know what I'm saying? So you have to take that into consideration. You know when you're talking about Let's Go versus Ultimate. You know I'm not talking about Pokemon the fan base with the base the mainline Pokemon games. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about Ultimate versus, if you're talking about like this holiday, Ultimate versus Let's Go, that's a bit different. That's a bit different. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. Um, Shadow King says, uh, player says, oh, why is it when people talk about Xenoblade ports, they never consider one just X? Wouldn't it be better to have one and X in a double pack? Well, I think that people consider X because X is was really hindered by the Wii U. Um, whereas one has already been redone a couple of times, although yes, it, it was, you know, it was, it, it was redone in a way to where it was a Nintendo 3DS, but the X is on Nintendo's like worst selling home console of all time. You know what I'm saying? Like X is on that system. It's the Wii U. Whereas one is on the Wii, which is highly popular, hundred million units sold. Also Xenoblade Chronicles one is also on the new Nintendo 3DS, which I think probably sold more. No, actually I'm going to say yes. More people have access to play Xenoblade Chronicles one on the new Nintendo 3DS than Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U. New Nintendo 3DS has sold more than the Wii U. So it's just because of the amount of access people have. Wii U just didn't sell well, and that's the only place that you can play is on one system, whereas you can play Xenoblade 1 on multiple systems. Um, and also, people have been doing emulation, like Dolphin and stuff like that, whereas Wii U emulation, emulation is not as easy, and Xenoblade Chronicles X uses the gamepad, so it's really hard. Like, you can't really do it. I mean, you can do it on PC, but it's weird because that is literally a, a dual screen game, even if you're playing with a pro controller. So people are saying that X should be ported over because it's just, it's not on PC for people to hack or emulate or whatever the case is like Xenoblade one and Xenoblade one has HD port. Like you can play Xenoblade one in HD on PC. There are texture packs to make it look nice and pretty. You can play it on there. Not saying that you have not, not, I'm not endorsing that. Okay. I'm not, I'm just saying it's out there for people. Whereas Xenoblade Chronicles X, it's not. And it, for the ones that it is, it's choppy. Like, and it's choppy. It doesn't work well. And you know, like I said, you need the Wii U gamepad. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that goes into it. So that's the reason why people are saying they want a Xenoblade Chronicles X port more than one. Because a lot of people have probably already played it over and over and over again. And I think a lot of Xenoblade fans might have not even played Xenoblade X, you know, uh, just because of the Wii U. And it came out late in the life. So that's the reason why. Um, also, Xenoblade X would be an easier port because it's already in HD on an HD system, whereas Xenoblade Chronicles 1, that would be a little bit different uh, just because it's, it was built for an SD system. So there's, there's, a, there's also that, too. Um, all right. Take it easy, Jeremy. Um, do you think there'll be an Avengers game on Switch? Probably not. Uh, Black China Man Christ Sun says, Parsons, uh, what he just said about the China is false. I'm American that lives in China, and we have been here since 2011. I am married to a Chinese woman and speak fluent Chinese. Okay, so that is not true about what what that person what what that person said about China. Apparently, that's not true. Um, so disregard what I said. 
Um, but I know that China has also done stuff like restricting. They did ban get a video game sales, right, for a long period of time. So there, there has been some restrictions on just being able to buy certain, you know, video games and systems. They just lifted that ban just a bit ago, right? So, um, I mean, Nintendo Switch still isn't released officially in China, is it? So, do you do you have a Switch, uh, Black China Man, uh, Christ Son? Do you, do you have a Switch? Did you buy one? Did you have to import it? How'd you get one in, in China? Um... um <clears throat> Fifty billion huge for Pokemon. Okay, well, okay. If Pokemon, so if every Pokemon game is so huge, is there why, why did it, it, it? Since since people are so strung up on this, Suzumi and everyone's still strung up on this. So why don't Pokemon Ranger? Why don't Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Why don't all those games sell as much as Smash Brothers? Then can anybody explain why Pokemon is so huge? Every game sells so much. Why does Smash Brothers outsell Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Rumble, and all those other Pokemon games? Since you guys are so set on Pokemon, so there's people in here that are so set on Pokemon Let's Go just being so much bigger and better than Smash. That's not the mainline game. Why isn't Pokemon Ranger and all that? Why, why isn't that as huge? Why don't those games sell like millions upon millions? Tell me that. Can you explain to me that? Pokemon's huge, right? It's 50 billion. Why don't people buy Pokemon Ranger? Where, why isn't Pokemon Rumble selling as much as Smash Brothers? Let me know. Those are, um, oh, those are unpopular spinoffs. Oh, unpopular spinoffs. So just because the name Pokemon is attached to it doesn't mean it's going to sell as much as a mainline game or as much as what people are used to. Free mobile app does not equate to $60 game. Free mobile app does not equate to unpopular spinoff. Pokemon Let's Go, no matter what the Pokemon company says, is not the mainline core Pokemon. It is a sub-series that they are trying to make or advertising as a mainline game based off of the success of a spinoff, which is Pokemon Go, which is a free mobile app. That is not the same as paid actual for a dedicated system. There's no way there's 800 million downloads or whatever the case is. There's not even 800 million Nintendo Switches for people to buy that many copies of Pokemon Let's Go. So no matter what, it will never equal the amount of what Pokemon Let's Go can do or, or Pokemon Go can do. Let's Go cannot equal that amount because there's not enough people that actually have the Switch in order to equal the amount of downloads for a free mobile app. For a free mobile app. Um... So, I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not, it's like the games have, the game has to be good. That's subjective, my boy. That's subjective, Sock Content. Some people say that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is very good. That is subjective. What I'm trying to say is that equating the, here's what I'm trying to say, which you guys will figure out later this year. Don't worry, I'll be right. Um, the success of Pokemon Go does not guarantee the massive success of Pokemon Let's Go. Let's just, let's just be honest here. You're comparing a free mobile app with people that 800 million smartphone devices or whatever to a Switch that has around 20 million, 20, well, have what, 25 million units sold, something like that. Why are people comparing those two? No matter what, it's not going to equal the same amount of downloads as, <laughs> as a free mobile app. It's not the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not. Fire Emblem Three Houses is not going to equal the amount of downloads as Fire Emblem Heroes. No matter how great Fire Emblem Three Houses is, it's not going to have the same amount of installs or inloads as a free mobile app. It's just not. <laughs> so why are people trying to sit here trying to make it seem as if it's going to be, oh, well, Pokemon Go sold, did so well. That means Let's Go is going to have the same. No, it's not. That's not a guarantee. You're talking about a free app compared to a $60 premium product on an install base that's nowhere near the size of mobile. This is basic economics and knowledge, guys. This is not anything crazy that I'm saying here. <laughs> like, like, come on. <laughs> it's, it's, but anyway, like I said, you'll see, you'll see. I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at data. I'm looking at the pre-order sales. I'm looking at what's going on here, and it looks like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is going to crush po uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm I, I, like I said, I'm just being real, guys. It looks like it's going to beat it pretty badly. It look it looks like it is. But like I said, we'll wait and see. If I'm wrong, I will be more than happy to admit it. But man, you guys are really, really like overblowing 
like Pokemon Let's Go, you know, and everything. Like, I think Pokemon 2019, that is the game that your energy should be like, oh, yeah, that game is going to do way better. But to say that Pokemon Let's Go is, is going to blow out Smash Brothers, that's ridiculous. I think that's a ridiculous notion based on the information that's already out there. Based on what we already know, That's I think that's ridiculous. Like, I don't think that that's a, that's a true statement right, at this point. Um... Let's see. Um, let's see. Jamal, Jamal, uh, on on onyeki, onkyoi. Oh, I I probably I said it. Oh, onikoi, onikoi. Yeah, onikoi. Uh, with the subscription, thank you so much, Jamal. Appreciate that. Welcome to Elite Ninja Village. Party Man is almost done, guys. We got a little bit more. We got a little bit left on this live stream. Um, I'm probably gonna stream for about another 15, 15, 20 minutes. We had really good viewership on Sunday. Sunday Sunday morning show is good. That's going to be a new thing, guys. Sunday morning show. We got to do it. What do you guys what do you guys want to name this? Sunday uh Sunday Sunday morning chat. S S M C S M C P E S M C. What should the name be? <laughs> Any good if there's if it'll just be called PE live unless we can get a good name. If you guys got a good name, just make at at me. At me. At me if you guys got a good name. If not, it's gonna be P just PE Live. That's all it's gonna be. Um, Solo Watson says Pokemon Go was a massive phenomenon with people of all ages because pretty much anyone in the world has a cell phone. Not everyone plays video games and have a switch. Exactly. Um, we am getting ready. To, we am getting ready for part two. Hope Smash Ultimate sells more than Pokemon. Let's go. I, I hope they both do well. I'm just I'm looking at the facts. I don't care which one sells more. I already know they're both gonna sell a lot. I'm getting both. Of them. I got both of them, dude. I've got my Pokemon. Let's go, Pikachu. Uh, Pokeball Plus pre-order on lock, $99 at Best Buy. Well, I got it for a little bit cheaper than that because I have the Best Buy Gamers Club. But I got that on lock. I got my Pokemon, or sorry, I got my uh, Super Smash Brothers um, Ultimate Switch Bundle locked down on pre-order. I got my Amiibos Ridley. I got my Inkling. And I got my Wolf Amiibos already set, locked down. Your boys already got all that stuff pre-ordered, ready to go, ready to rock in November. You know what I'm saying? I'm already ready to rock in November. But I'm just saying, like, I'm just going off of what I'm seeing here. Sunday Essence. Sunday Essence. That's like the expected. Sunday Essence. That's good. I like it. That, that, that's the basic Sunday Essence. Sunday Morning Chill. That's good. S S S M C. I like I like abbreviations. Because, like, S-E-S-E. -S -E, that's like score. People think, like, P-E-S-E. P-E square Enix. So a Sunday essence is cool. I like it. Sunday fun day is good. That's the that's that's not good. PE uh, PE Sunday morning live. Okay, that's more businessy. Right now I'm like I like I like so far I like tension so much. So so far tensions tension is the winner. We'll do we might do a straw poll too. Um, who can knock out Party Man though? Party Man Party Man's the top ninja. Party Man's the top ninja of the stream. But who can knock him out? 775 HP left. Who can knock out Party Man before we stop the live stream tonight? Can anybody do it? Or is Party Man going to be the champion of this live stream? Uh, uh, the OJ. The OJ. The OJ hates Pokemon hour with with player essence. <laughs> um, right now, I'm liking Sunday morning chill. So that can be abbreviated as P-E-S-M-C. Uh, P-E, uh, Sunday morning chill. I like Sunday morning chill. That's good. P.E. Sun Live Essence. Sun Live? <laughs> uh, read part one. Okay. Um, Sunday Essence. Sunday Morning Show. Nintendo World Gaming. Shout out to Nintendo World Gaming. Dumb Guy Gaming says, uh, Player Essence, Sports Day Live. Let the title confuse people. <laughs> no, I don't want that to happen. That's not good. Confusing your fan base is never good. Whoa, PE is my new Saturday morning, uh, Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday uh, morning cartoon. Uh, today's Sunday, though. <laughs> Be more cumulative says, uh, I low-key miss the 90s era of gaming companies. Uh, trash talk with each other, player since, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's okay. It's not, I mean, like, I don't really care too much. I mean, there's still a little trash talk going on, but not, not like it used to be. Um, player since, when, when, when we get another Toby skit, I need a good laugh. How about this, guys? Next week, I'm going to have I'm going to have a merch I'm going to have a merch goal, like a total merch goal. We're at like 71. We're going to have a merch goal for 100. If we can hit 100 merch boys, I will release. I will finish and release the Toby Skit video. 
if we have i will I'll, I'll have to reshoot certain parts of it i'll probably have to reshoot the whole thing but i maybe i can salvage some stuff of it if we hit, uh, we're at 70 so if we hit 100 merch boys purchase i will I, cause like there's still a lot of work to be done guys like i don't want it to be a like it, it was a lot of work toby skip but it was just taking it took me two weeks just to put together everything because i was i was being brain dead and i couldn't think of any ideas like i get writers blocked just like anybody else for you know for videos uh sometimes i don't even know what to talk about when there's news right in front of my face so um if we uh, we'll, we'll have a goal for it so if we had 100 100 merch boys i will shoot and finish the video i'll shoot some of it this time so but like we'll, we'll have a goal for it um just because like man it, it's a lot of work <laughs> it's like a lot of work and like like i said the views on the, on the channel aren't as high as they used to be so i got to make sure that i'm consistently putting out content just so just so i mean i can still you know at least keep the baseline with ad revenue so and like youtube ad revenue is garbage anyway I'm not very good. So, I mean, that's the only that's the only issue is like taking the time to actually work on it every single day, which it's going to be hours a day to work on the video and cut it and edit it and think of jokes and stuff. So, yeah. Player essence essence in the morning. Um You're off the bed? What time is it in your country? Suzumi? How are you off the You're off the bed already? Dang. Where are you at? That where you're off the bed. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. where I'm at. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh man. Um, essential Sunday, Sun Live Cross Essence. I don't know about Sun Live, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not big about the Sun Live. She lives in Texas. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, it's 2 a.m. in Japan right now. Yo, shout outs to Jonathan. Thank you so much for watching, man. 2 a.m. in Japan. Don't you got work tomorrow morning, man? Plus, maybe they work the third shift. Maybe they work the third shift. Yeah, maybe. Sunday morning screwdriver with OJ. Screwdriver. I'm not doing Sun Live. I'm not doing Sun Live. I don't like Sun Live, guys. I have to like the name. I'm going to go with Sunday. I think I'm going to go with Sunday morning chill. SMC. PE -P -E Live SM SMC. SMC. Sunday morning chill. Uh, Velvet, he says, player says, uh, OJ, can you explain to me save uh, save data cloud backup? Yeah, no problem. Uh, save data cloud backup is actually not really hard. Um, if you want to manually back up your data, um, you have to uh, press start on the icon in the home menu. Um, and then you uh, go to cloud save backup, pick the option right there. And then you can choose to uh, manually back up your save data. Or if you've already done it, it'll automatically back up your save data at certain points once you've played the game if you've already manually backed it up once. So that's pretty much all that that uh, cloud data does. But it's not going to manually back up like all your games. It's the games that you've actually played. So uh, boot up a game, boot up your games that you want cloud save to be like the biggest thing. Boot up those, let it let it register and get a cloud save going, and then from there you'll be okay. Um, does that mean you can swap SD cards uh, between saves? Yeah, cloud save data, it's all based on the cloud. So it's all based on the cloud. Now, what you can do is if you want to, like, let's say you have a uh, save data on a different memory card, and, but you have a cloud backed up and like you're playing that switch, like you can not have your save data on there. And what you can do is you can actually take the cloud save data and upload that to where you can use that cloud save data right there. Now it's going to overwrite anything that you currently have saved on the system. But if you don't have that on there on your SD card, you're going to be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a backup. You can't boot and play straight off from there. So you do have to kind of upload it so you can use that save data. If that makes any sense. I probably explained it kind of wrong, but that's the basic premise. Um, it's not about it being main. Here's the thing. It's not about it being main mainline or not. A lot of people are hung up on the whole mainline thing when I said, guys, Pokemon Let's Go is only here because of Pokemon Go, which is a spinoff. That's the only reason why it's here. Now, if Pokemon Company wants to make it into a mainline game, that's all gravy. But the game is was based off of a spinoff. It's not based off of the main. It's based. It's not. It's not like it's like a. It's not like Shin Megami Tensei Five and Persona. It's it, it's not that guys. Now, if Pokemon Let's Go came out before Pokemon Go. 
and have more elements that were similar to more in depth and similar to Pokemon, the normal Pokemon mainline game, then I get that. But the reason why people are kind of like me included, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be a bad game. What I'm saying is that this game is only here because of a spinoff, because of, of a free mobile app. Without the success of Pokemon Go, Pokemon Let's Go is not here. The reason why they're turning it into a mainline, why they want to turn it into that, because they want to make more money. They want to make more money. They want to market it as a mainline so you guys buy it. Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon, all these other games were never marketed and made as mainline games. Therefore, they don't sell like a mainline game can. This game is a spinoff, but they're trying to, they're fandangling it into a mainline for sales. That's the reason why. But this game doesn't happen unless Pokemon Go, a spinoff, is successful, okay? That's the only reason. If Pokemon Go was not super successful, we wouldn't see Pokemon Let's Go. We wouldn't see them try to take a, the core Pokemon game and hoof swoggle it in into a mainline game. There are so many elements of Pokemon Let's Go that's not of the mainline, you know? It's based off of Pokemon Go. It's, it, it's, it's Pokemon Go for systems, but they want 60 bucks for it. So that yeah, damn right they're gonna say it's a mainline. Heck yeah, they're gonna say it's 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 the core. Heck yeah, they're gonna say you buy it. That's what they're, they're yeah, it's 60 bucks. It's, this is not this is not a free mobile app. They weren't saying that about Pokemon Go. <laughs> this is not a free app. This is a $60 game based off of Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, they're gonna push it as mainline. Yeah, they're gonna say that. They they want 60 bucks for it. This is not Pokemon Ranger, you know? So I mean, look, guys, I look, I've I've taken marketing. I've taken all this stuff. Like, this is definitely marketing that they're trying to do. Yeah, they're going to push it that way. Yeah, they're going to. Do I think that it is? No, I think the mainline game is Pokemon 2019. I don't think it's not like a Shin Megami Tensei 5 and Persona. Obviously, Persona technically <laughs> is a spinoff. Persona is a spinoff, but nobody would know that because it's so Persona games are just as in-depth, if not more, than the source material, you know? Um, Shin Megami Tensei and, and Persona games are pretty much just about as in-depth as each other. Maybe Persona at times is a little bit less. It's a little bit more basic. Just a tad bit. But it shares way more similarities and characteristics to the mainline Shin Megami Tensei than Pokemon does. Than Pokemon Let's Go. So let, let's put it on a scale here, okay? Pokemon Let's Go. Let's say Pokemon. Here is regular baseline Pokemon. Here is Pokemon Go. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu is here. It's not slided towards here. It's slided towards here. It it's it's like Pokemon Go. It's I mean no held items, ability no abilities. You know no wild Pokemon battles. You know like there's just a ton of stuff that isn't in what you normally see. A lot of stuff that was similar or like Pokemon Go. <laughs> the art style. I mean it just goes on and on with Pokemon Let's Go. Like I said, I'm not hating. I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I, dude, this is the most excited I've been for a mainline Pokemon game since Pokemon X. Like, honestly, this is the most excited. I might even be a little bit more excited for this game. I'm, I'm, I'm not hating on Pokemon Let's Go. I got my pre-order locked. I'm ready to have a casual Pokemon Go type of experience. That I wanted to play Pokemon Go, but brothers like me aren't going to go out in the heat you know what I'm saying? It's too hot where I live. I'm not trying to get hit by a car while I'm playing Pokemon Go. And I'm afraid of the outside world, okay? I don't want to be outside walking around. It's not always safe to be walking around as a brother these days. Out, Just outside. People look at you kind of funny. People call the cops and all sorts of crazy things happen when you're outside just looking around and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not just trying to be just trying to be real here. Not trying to invoke any type of type of stance. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I've seen it happen before. When brothers are just outside, just looking around. They're playing Pokemon Go. Somebody does something. Somebody calls the cops or something like that, you know? So I'm not trying to have all, I'm not trying to deal with all that junk, all right? So I'm looking forward to a casual, and I'm, I'm making, I'm having a little bit of fun. I'm like a joke here. I'm, I'm making some jokes here, guys. Um, I'm having a little, I, I'm looking forward to having a cool, casual Pokemon experience. Chilling in my room, in my living room, sitting back with my Joy-Con and going, with my Pokeball. With my Pokeball, and 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 just see, this is gonna be me. Just like I'm gonna be playing Pokemon like this, lying down. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'm not hating. I'm looking forward to it. 
I'm not I'm not silly, you know. So so there you go. Um I under I understand that. I understand that Gen 1 um has no um all, all Wait, hold up. IVs, yeah. Hold up. IVs? It has IVs. It's just not it has EVs and IVs though. It's not about it be there's just there's just not there's just so much stuff that's just not there though. It reminds me of Pokemon Go. It reminds me of Pokemon Go. I mean, there was a lot of stuff that, uh, for example, when they remade Pokemon, um, like when they remade Gold, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver, did they not add things to it? Did they not add things to it that that wasn't there beforehand? Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. When they remade Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Soul Silver, they added in new things. When they remade Pokemon um, Red, and didn't they remake on the Game Boy Advance? Didn't they add new things to it, new elements? If I'm not correct, it wasn't the exact same thing when they made remakes before. They always added in new stuff. But now you're telling me, oh well, oh well, Gen One didn't have those things. But when they made when they did remakes before in the past, they added in new things. They added in new elements that weren't in the, in that gen. Am I not correct? So why is it different now? And all of a sudden, oh well, those ones didn't have it. But this is not this is not their first rodeo. They've added new things before. Like I said, I'm not hating. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, exactly. And let's go. They're, they're taking away more new. They're they're taking away more things. Everyone's saying, oh oh well, it's a remake. Okay, well they're taking away more things and they're adding. That's what I'm saying. It's like Pokemon Go. That's what Pokemon Go did. Pokemon Go from the mainline Pokemon games took away. More than added, whereas the main, the real mainline games, when you remake a game, you add to these things. They're taking away stuff. <laughs> like, they're taking away things. They're not adding a lot of new features and elements and battle things. Like I said, I'm excited for a casual Pokemon experience. Don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to it. I don't mind. This is just an extra game. This beats Pokemon Ranger. This beats Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I didn't buy all those. I didn't buy all that crap. But I'm... I'm they got my $99 for Pokemon Let's Go, so your boy's not hating. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, this is this is how I see it, which is fine. It, it is not a problem, you know? Um, um Let's see here. What, 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 what do you feel strongly about? Like, what, what am I, what if I said that's not fact? What if I said that's not fact? They have remade games before in the past, and they with mainline games, they've always added. This is a subtraction of elements. This is a subtraction of things. This is not, there's let there, there is they are not adding and making it more dynamic. To me, it's based off of Pokemon Go. This is obviously to get the Pokemon Go crowd. I mean, let's go is in the title, right? So this is obviously trying to capitalize on the Pokemon, which they, I think they even said they're trying to capitalize on the Pokemon crowd. Now, in order to try to get the, the base mainline crowd, they make it off of Pokemon Yellow because they need to make a $60. Like Pokemon Go has no real story. So you have to make, if you want to make a $60 product, you have to have a, a single player. You have to have a story. Okay. So then what do they do? They take Pokemon Yellow and they say, okay, well, let's try to get the mainline guys. And that's what got me. If this game had no story, if this game was like Pokemon Go completely, I'd be less inclined to buy it. But the fact that there's Pokemon Yellow, that it has a story based on that, I'm like, okay, it's worth 60 bucks. Now, to me, it's worth the full price. So they already got me. I don't know what you're disagreeing with. I'm just sitting here stating facts. The facts are this game is only happening because Pokemon Go. There's Let's Go in the title. I gear, This game would not be around if Pokemon Go was not the success it was. I, I don't know what there is to disagree about. Like... <laughs> Player says, oh, why don't you ever get a shout out? Hold up. Why don't I ever get a shout out when you do it? Six, six, five, Steven. There's your shout out, my boy. Uh, there's your shout out. Um, yes, I've played Pokemon Go. Yes, I played Pokemon Go just for a little bit when it first launched. But I did, I stopped playing it because, like, it's not my style of game. Um, shout out to Christopher with a $1.99 donation. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Christopher. Are you at work? Did you knock out Party Man? Oh, no. Party Man's still here. Party Man has... Okay, guys. We're going to end the stream in about... We're going to end it at two hours. We're going to end it at two hours exactly. So, somebody needs to knock out Party Man before we go. <laughs> or is Party Man going to be the winner for the stream? Um, uh, 
the game is heavily influenced by the game is heavily influenced by Pokemon Go, though. <laughs> yes, they're using Pokemon Yellow, but the game is heavily influenced by Pokemon Go. It's not that it, it's not being ignored. I just said that the game I'm getting it because it also has Pokemon Yellow. I said that. Um and the developers can say whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that it refutes the facts. Developers can lie and say whatever they want. A lot of time, developers will tell you things and marketers will tell you things in order to say certain stuff. So if the developers tell you microtransactions are a good thing in games, you want microtransactions. Does that mean that they're correct? No. So if the Pokemon company says, oh, well, this is the greatest game ever in the world. This is going to be the greatest Pokemon game. The developer said it. Does that mean it's true? No. So when it comes to marketing, when it comes to selling a $60 product, are they more inclined to tell you things that's going to make you think that it's worth the $60? Yes, they will. Because Pokemon Go is a free app. So if you're going to sit down and take and say, well, since the developer said it, that means it's true. <laughs> then we can disagree all you want to. But no, I'm sorry. Your boy went to market. I, I took marketing in college. I took communication in college. I know how these things work. And when there's money involved with a full price $60 product, they're going to say things in order to sell their full price $60 product. And just because a developer says something does not mean that you have to 100% believe it, especially when there's a capitalistic society involved in it. Now, if all this crap was free and there was no money involved, then yeah, sure. Believe whatever you want them to say. You know what I'm saying? They can say what they want. But when there's money and marketing and certain expectations involved in it, then yeah, they might say things that are a little bit, not necessarily, you know, accurate or they're saying that just because like when a developer says you know what these microtransactions aren't going to affect the game you're still going to have fun does that mean it's true because the developer said it no the microtransactions can ruin the game for you we see this all the time with ea ea says that the developer said it it's true advertising spin this is something that happens okay so when people say well the developer said it's mainline case closed no there is such thing called advertising spin, marketing spin. No, that, that, no, that, that, that case closed. <laughs> what? Not case closed. If you're willing to bend over and take it from every single developer that says whatever they want. No, there's money involved. There's millions, if not billions of dollars involved with this. Yes, they are going to say certain things in order for you to buy the game. No, sorry, man. <laughs> not case closed. Not. No. <laughs> case closed for you. But not case closed for a lot of other people that aren't just going to say, like, no, I don't care what the developer says. I'm looking at facts. I'm looking at Pokemon Go and how that game looks and how that game plays and how everything is. I'm looking at how the Pokemon company has done remakes before. I'm looking at how the Pokemon company even said Pokemon Go was an influence for the game as well and that they, they want to tap into the Pokemon Go audience. They've said a lot of things. Marketing. This is what they do. Sorry. I'm still buying it, but you can't sit here and force me to say that, oh, this is based off, this was based off of yellow, this is more of the main line, no, it's based off of Pokemon Go, <laughs> it's based off of Pokemon Go, but they need to sell, they need to sell it, Pokemon Go has no story, it has no story, it has no single player, you can't sell a $60 product like Pokemon with all the, fe with a lot of the features removed, and then say, oh, give me 60 bucks, Pokemon Go is free, so you have to do something Add Pokemon Yellow. Now it becomes a six dollar product. I get it. I I'm I'm there with you. I'm already buying the game. <laughs> I'm buying it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't see what the problem is here. I'm buying it. I don't care if it's mainline or not. What does it matter? Who cares? I they've already got my money. All I'm saying is that from my standpoint, the mainline game is coming out next year. This is Pokemon Go for consoles. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We don't need two Pokemon games the, the, that are the exact same. We don't need Pokemon 1A and Pokemon 1B. I don't even want Pokemon Let's Go to be like the mainline Pokemon game. I don't, I don't even want it to be like the mainline Pokemon game. <laughs> That's the funny thing that when, people, when I get into arguments with people about this. I don't even want it to be like that. I don't want two of the same game. I don't buy like Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't buy Pokemon, you know... Like, I don't buy the extra versions of those games. Like, I just buy, like, the main game, and that's it. I don't want there to be multiple Pokemon games. that are, like, I want Pokemon Go to be... I, I don't have a problem with the casual experience. I don't care if it's not mainline. I don't care. This is going to be this is gonna be the best, whatever you want to call it. Sub-mainline, mainline, casual experience. This is going to be the best casual or 
separate experience from the normal traditional Pokemon that I've ever played. So I'm, or outside of maybe like, I don't know, I play Pokemon Stadium, but you, you still need the mainline game, like the, the transfer packs in order to take full advantage of that. But I'm excited. I'm terribly excited for it. I don't care. I don't want it. To, like there's a lot of crazy Pokemon fans that want this game to be exactly like the same game that they're getting next year. Why? Why do you want the same game? So there's no need to argue with me on that front. I don't want the same game. You know, I don't want it. I, I, I don't I don't want Persona to be the same as Shin Megami Tensei 5. I want Persona to be different from Shin Megami Tensei. I want Shin Megami Tensei 5 to be different from Persona. I don't want the same game. You know, I want different games. So I don't have a problem with Pokemon Go being, or Pokemon Let's Go being the way that it is. That's fine. I'm excited for it. I, I, I want that. I don't want the same game. We're getting that game next year. You, you have these psycho Pokemon fans that are out here going crazy that that it's not the same game as next year it's like why you want the same game no i don't want the same game you know um inspired by pokemon go or not i'm still gonna buy it let's go can be a light-hearted casual game and pokemon 29 could be the more hardcore game i'm pumped either way exactly that's my thought process dude i'm i'm excited either way like i'm buying it dude like i don't like i'm not a psycho pokemon fan that wants everything me 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 there because like there are those pokemon fans out there that are psycho and want every game just to be tailor-made for them they want the exact same thing and they'll shell out money for five new two pokemon little side story it's like they'll buy ultra suns and ultra moons and the i don't i don't do all that I mean, I, I don't. I used to buy those ones back in the day, but like not anymore. Like I just buy whatever the Pokemon game that I want, and then I'm done. I don't need to buy like ten versions of the same game. You know, I don't need Pokemon Let's Go to be the same as Pokemon 2019. I don't. I don't need that. I don't know why anybody would want that. Um. Anyway, um, I think that was a long enough rant on Pokemon. Um, we are pretty much at two. We are pretty much at two hours, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Okay, so we have some uh, we have some uh, giveaways that we're doing, guys. Um, I'm going to type in uh, yeah, we'll, we'll rate TG Lopez. Um, I'm going to type in a giveaway, guys. Um, we got a giveaway for Monster Hunter um, Generations Ultimate. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I just linked that in the uh, comment section. Make sure you enter to win that. It is a short um, giveaway. It's only three weeks. So two days, I think a day or two has already passed by. So you have less than three weeks to enter that. Make sure you get all of your entries in. All of you guys here are already subscribers. So that's good. Um, you guys already got an automatic entry, but you have to click that button on there in order to verify that you're already subscribed. And then you'll get a lot more options uh, on, on how you can um, you can enter in. Um, let's see here. Um, shout outs to Andy Mine. With the $65 NLK donation, it says, Welp, time time to take down the, the party, man. Also, when are the Smash 4 lessons uh, for Tier 4 Patreon? Smash 4 lessons, you get one you get one a month, so you can go to me at any point, um, and we can set up a Smash 4 lesson for you. So you get a private lesson. It's not, oh, and you almost took down Party Man. You didn't quite take him down. Party Man is alive by the thread. He has 151 HP left. You almost took him down. Shout out to Andy for the for the good good attempt though. Good attempt. But thank you for the 65 NOK donation. And uh, yeah, if you want a lesson, just hit me up on Patreon. It's a private lesson. Um, it probably won't be streamed. It's uh, 30 to 45 minutes um, long. Um, depending on what we need to work on, depending on how bad you are at the point or how good you are, you know, it depends on that. So hit me up on Patreon when you are willing to do that and you get one of, you get one uh, of those a month. So yeah, let me know on Patreon, Andy. Um, shout outs to Andy with the, okay, with the 25 and okay donation. It says, okay, now he's dead. <laughs> I don't know. Is it going to register? Is, I think, I hope it registers. Okay. Yeah. So I think Andy is definitely, oh no. What the heck? You knocked him out, but Party Man's back alive again. <laughs> it didn't switch over to you. What happened? Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Nani? That's un Party Man lives. He's immortal. I think Party Man, dude, he's too strong because of the $20 donation, dude. The Streamlabs. I think the biggest problem. Oh, I know what happened, dude. I know what happened is because you you, you use you use super chat. That's what happened because this is a Streamlabs type of thing. So I think it because since this is a Streamlabs um um plugin, 
Well, it knocks them out with Super Chat. It doesn't register your name with your name through Streamlabs so they can pull your info because Super Chat is separate from Streamlabs. You know what I'm saying? And this plugin is through Streamlabs where Super Chat is essentially just you can add it in, but it's essentially a separate thing uh, from Streamlabs, which Streamlabs does all the stuff at the top here. Streamlabs does, um, you know, um, the 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 party man over here, party man type of thing. Streamlabs does the Toby Blaster. Streamlabs, there's more customization. YouTube, there's freaking no customization at all with YouTube. All you have is super chat and your member, the Elite Ninja, the what's, the Elite Ninja stuff over here. That's all super chat does, which is still somewhat through plugin uh, through Streamlabs. So so yeah, man, that's that's what happened. Party man, since he, since he he Streamlabs you, dude. Uh, party man is immortal. He is immortal. He is for <laughs> Shout out to the party, man. All right. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you enter in for that uh, giveaway. Also, make sure you guys check out the videos for the week, okay? So I'm going to link uh, some of my videos, uh, my video page. Uh, make sure you guys check that out too as well. Um, I'll have a link to that right here in the chat. And we are going to raid TG Lopez as well. So uh, let's see. TG... Did I subscribe? He, he has a new channel, doesn't he? I don't know if I subscribed to it. Okay, here we go. So I just subscribed. Uh, we're going to raid TG Lopez. He's playing Legend of Zelda. Uh, Wind Waker. He's got 15 people watching. Let's go. He's playing Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Part 1. So make sure you guys uh, go subscribe to him. Um, KC Born and Raised. Okay, what's okay? Let me see. What's what's, what's the score here? Okay, that that's the go raid him. So let me let me put raid raid time, guys. Hey, we need you guys to all raid TG Lopez. He is a PE ninja, dude. He is part of the village here. So you guys need to all go raid him. Let's go. Let's go. We're raiding him. We are raiding TG. Everybody head on over there. That would be that would be awesome if all of us headed over there. And raided this man TG. So we got a hundred something people in here. Everybody should be over there raiding TG's uh, TG's um, live stream. So let, let's do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate that. Party man, the immortal. Party man, congratulations for being the stream boss, the winner. Top ninja as well. Top ninja for the week too. So shout outs, man. We'll see if you can hold on to your title. <laughs> we'll keep your HP up there for the next uh, for the next stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do appreciate that. And I'll see you guys over at TG's live stream. You guys check it out. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Part 1. The Great Sea awaits. Peace out, guys.